Hi, this is Trey Kai. So welcome to my Blu-ray update, DVD update for the week beginning uh, November 29th, 2015. This will be my Black Friday haul. I didn't go, I just went to the Best Buy downtown because I went on Black Friday and spent seeing two movies. So Creed and um, uh, Victor Frankenstein, you can see my review on my channel if you want to see those, what I thought of those two movies. And this Black Friday, I guess, they didn't, like I said, maybe because I went late. Later in the day, I went, you know, I got there after the movie ended, so it was on five something, and, um, you know, you had to wait on a little line outside for just about five minutes and then let you into the store. And they didn't have much in terms of, I expected more TV stuff, I guess. Maybe there was stuff early in the day that I missed. And I didn't, after I got the stuff that I got, I, when I went uptown, I could have went to the Best Buy. It was close to me, and I thought about it, but I was tired after a long day off being all the way out, you know, up, you know, since I left, I think around 1030 in the morning, and I got back here around seven or something. So I was kind of out of it and didn't want to really do any more shopping. And then yesterday I thought about going to the Best Buy anyway, and I even thought about going today and see if they had anything left, but I just didn't feel like it. This, I wasn't into the Black Friday thing for some reason for this year. I just wasn't into it as much. Uh, but I got a few things that were on sale on Black Friday, which I thought are, are good, so I'll show that to you. And um, I'm going to look tomorrow, because tomorrow Cyber Monday, I'll look on Amazon and, and see if they have anything worth ordering. Like I said, because I'm going to be on vacation after this week. I'll be on vacation the following week, so maybe if there's something I, I look, I'll look tomorrow when I go to work. I'll look on Amazon in the morning and see, even tonight maybe, and see if there's anything that I want to order. And then maybe order it just but just I just wasn't into the Black Friday so maybe I think a lot of it is like the closest target to me I would have to get on the bus to go to the target that's in the Bronx I would have to get on the bus I mean where I work at there's a target you know where um you know from where I work a little ways that you have to walk to get to it and maybe you know I just didn't I guess I didn't I wasn't into the whole Black Friday thing as much as I I was not previous year because I remember that there was one year where I was actually, I think I spent like three hours in the store <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of titles that year, but that was a few years ago. But let me just show you what I got. I got a few things that were on sale, so it wasn't total loss uh, in terms of uh, stuff that I wanted to get. So, although, like I said, I wanted to get more TV shows, but they didn't, it didn't seem to have as many TV shows, excuse me. Why am I adjusting my shirt? <laughs> that is because a little white is showing, and I hate to have that showing for some stupid reason. Anyway, uh, yeah, they didn't have as many TV shows on sale as I thought, you know, uh, would be on sale. You know, like, I wanted to try to get Grimm, season three and four, and maybe off in black even, but it didn't seem like they had those things on sale. So, you know, I'll... I'll see what I can do about that. Maybe I'll go on eBay and see if I can get those things for a discounted price. It's just, I don't know, distance, you know, Best Buy is just really disappointing me in general with their movie selections. It's just, they really kind of shortchanged it. <laughs> their movie section is really getting, really uh, just, it's not worth it totally. And, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Let me show you what I got. Uh, and then I'll tell you what I want to think about. Anyway, I got the first... This show I started watching actually in the second season, so I got the first two seasons over there, and so keep it to the edition. This is on sale nine ninety nine, so I got complete third season of Arrow, which is one of my favorite shows now. Okay, so this wasn't the best season, but you know I got the first two seasons. This is the third one. The fourth season has been great so far of Arrow, so I really enjoy that. Okay, now the next thing I got is another TV show that came on last came out last year. And, debuted and was a, like a critical hit and ratings hit. Now this season's, I think it's, the show is kind of struggling actually, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not as good as the first season. It's a little lost its way a little bit. And maybe hopefully they can correct it when it comes back from their break. Uh, but I'm talking about Empire. Okay, I got this is on sale for $14.99, which is a great for Blu-ray. Okay, and I love the first season. The first season was fantastic of this show. And like I said, the second season has yeah, been kind of lackluster, not as good as the first season. Okay, and the, I think the writing is very weak in the second season. Hopefully, maybe they can uh, correct that. Okay, now the next thing is something that I got as a 
then actually I bought this, it was a San Andreas, the 3D version, with a nice lenticular slip cover. Okay, and Best Buy exclusive, you know, collect, collectible mini poster included. Guess I have to look at that. It's a 3D version, of course, starring The Rock. And I remember last <laughs> last week I went to this, they, somebody in Best Buy had actually put this on sale, <laughs> or put it out, and then I tried to buy it. They said, no, this is not supposed to go on sale until the, that Tuesday. And so, but anyway, it was on sale again. So I saw it there and I grabbed it. <laughs> okay, 3D, you know, 3D version of this. I like this movie when it came out. The girl in that is just smoking hot who plays Rock's daughter, uh, who should have been Wonder Woman. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Alexander Dodaro, that's her name. Who should have been Wonder Woman. Okay. Okay. Just absolutely gorgeous. But she's in this. Uh, okay. She's playing the Rock's daughter. Okay. Now, the next thing I got is uh, Jupiter Ascending. This is the 2D version of it. I actually wanted to look for the 3D version. And I saw other people's videos. I think other people did get it, the 3D version of it. This is... Just an okay movie by the Wachowski brother and sister now. Uh, yeah, it was just an okay movie. Very, uh, Eddie Remain, actually, the guy who won the Academy Award for Best Actor, severely overacts in this movie. Okay, but it's Sean Bean and this Channing Tatum and Mila Kunis in this. This is a, yeah, an okay movie. Not the greatest movie at all, to be honest, but yeah, I got it. It was on sale, for, you know, $7.99, so I couldn't pass up that price. I was trying to wait for the 3D version to get. Didn't the drop lower and stuff, but and I think on some people's best buys they did get it lower, but uh, I'll take it as it comes. Now the next thing, of course, I got was uh, the Judge, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Rob Duvall. I like this movie that came out. It wasn't the best movie, but it was a decent. We got good actors in this. Uh, who else is in this? Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is in this as well. Okay, uh, uh, Vera Farmiga, who I love. Uh, Dax Shepard is in this, and Billy Bob Thornton. Anyway, this is on sale for like $7.99, so I got this because I've been wanting to get this. I've been waiting for the price to drop down for the longest time, and it finally dropped down, so I got that. And you know, I'll get the slip cover for it later. And then the last but last, least movie is a movie that uh, is Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, and Mark Strong. Before I go to sleep, this is supposed to be a thriller about a woman that I think she has short term memory or something. She Every time she goes to sleep, she forgets things, whatever happens. And, and so basically, every day is a new day for her. And the only reason I got this is because of Nicole Kidman. I saw a secret in her eyes uh, with her in it, uh, in Chad Edge of Four and uh, Julie Roberts. And just, I'll be perfectly honest, <laughs> I just absolutely fell in love again with Nicole Kidman, how absolutely beautiful Nicole Kidman is, uh, especially in that movie. You see her, because they show her when she's younger, supposedly younger, and then, you know, older. And she just, I don't know, her presence just, I don't know, just captivated me and made me like that movie even more than I should have. <laughs> And so, and I've been actually look, eyeing this because I saw the trailer for this. So I said, let me get this. And this was on sale again for, I think, $6.99 or $4.99, whatever it was. And, you know, I love Nicole Kidman as an actress. And, you know, she's actually beautiful. That's a bonus. <laughs> okay. So there you go. I, so that's my pickups, my, my Blu-ray DVD pickups for this week and slash my Black Friday haul. Because, like I said, I didn't, I kind of wish, you know, that there was more stores around my general area that, you know, that sell movies. And I do have a thing, though, now. I think Amoeba Records, you can buy stuff online for them. And I was always jealous when I always see Allie Walker and, uh, and JW Universe. They, they would go to Amoeba Records in South Bend, California. But I think you can order stuff from them as well online, which I think I'm going to start doing more of that because, like I said, this Best Buy is just really, as a store, as a general, has really gone downhill with movies. They concentrate more on, on phones and stuff. And they really kind of, their movie division just went to hell, really. And, you know, it just really sucks, to be honest. It just really, really sucks. I kind of wish, I mean, there's a Walmart. I would have to get my sister to drive me there. That's way upstate. And I kind of wish there was a Walmart closer. You know, Target, I can actually get to because where I work in Jersey, there's one in, within walking distance. And I should get, I can go there more. But I'm going to try to see if I can order stuff from AmoebaRecords.com. I think that have a website that you can order stuff from there. And I think that would be a better deal for me. I could get more stuff from there, but they had definitely more selections. Anyway, uh, that's my pickups uh, for this week. Let me know what you think of those. And also, thank you, Sammy, Falagar517. Uh, I think you changed your YouTube username, right? To Falagar, just Falagar now. Uh, thank you for the shout out. Okay, I'm watching, I was in the middle of watching your Black, uh, your, um, your Black Friday update. I'm going to continue to watch that. I just wanted to film this before 
it's too late when I eat. <laughs> and so, but anyway, that's it. And also, I just want to mention, I'm going to, um, since I'm going to be on vacation, what I want to do is, and I got to actually watch a lot of people's videos, especially DVD Collector 1974. Uh, I got to watch a lot of his videos today, and that's what I'm going to use that week off. I'm going to try to get caught up with a lot of people's videos that I haven't had a chance to really, you know, it's, it's been, I've been too distracted by other things that, that watch people's videos like I, like I used to, and I really want to correct that mistake. So what I'm going to do is, like, when I'm off on vacation, I'm going to, besides packing and trying to rearrange this room, and I think I might make a video about that, and I want to show off my, I want to show you my uh, steelbook, so I want to put all my steelbooks in one section. So I'm going to have to grab them all from wherever they are because they're all over the place, and then and show them off and then try to place them all in one place, and then I have to box up the stuff that I had, the VHS tapes that I have down there that you can see in the corner there. I want to box those up. And... Um, I'm going to put the Blu-rays that I have that are piling up on my computer box over there and start putting them down there because there's tons of space down there. Okay, and I can put, I can basically line them up in here. There's a ton of space that I can put Blu-rays. I can slide them there and I can have, you know, I think I can put a lot in there. So I just have to box up those. So I'm going to bring some boxes from my job from work from the paper box, the empty paper box. I'm trying to get at least four of them and then box up all this stuff and then what I'm going to try to do is get rid of the VHS tapes. Not the, you know, the movies that I like that's on VHS. I'm going to keep those. But I just take TV shows. I used to take TV shows and this, everything else on VHS. That's when I want to get rid of them. So I might just put them on Craigslist and just tell anybody. So first come, first serve. You know, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, best offer. And Because and, I think it's going to be about maybe eight, ten boxes of just VHS tapes. I just want to get rid of and just do that so that I have more space. And then, like I said, I can put stuff here, and I can box up that stuff there, and put more Blu-rays behind the Ben Hur set there, and just you know, just have more space because in this, you know, the room is getting, <laughs> it's kind of getting compacted. And I also mentioned in my vlog that I'm thinking about getting a green screen, and I might look into that. I have to look at a few more YouTube videos and stuff. But I'm thinking of getting a green screen because just to make you know, to change up things with my channel, I was, you know, I would love to be sitting here you know, doing the update and stuff and having wacky things going on in the background. So just, just, you know, just to try something different because I like to be creative with my channel. And uh, like I also mentioned in my vlog, I might start a second channel or Vader might start a second channel, maybe in the new year or maybe right after The Force Awakening has come out, just to have, you know, just to, you know, just to see what he, because he's very opinionated and, and that way he can stay off my channel and then he can do his own thing and, that might work. So that may happen in the future. So you be on the lookout for that. And I'm rambling now, so it's so I want to end this uh, update. And let me uh, just let me know what you think of my titles. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.